We are a very diverse primary school to form entry in North West London. Artsmark fits into our school because it allows us really to demonstrate, I think, the range of offer that we have for our children in the art subjects and the broad and balanced curriculum that we try and offer for our children. We're a truly comprehensive school. It's always been a very diverse intake. And one of the things about arts, which, which I think is crucial as well, is it enables you to develop all aspects of students' creative personalities and, and to develop their skills in a variety of areas. A lot of our children live in one room or they live in shared houses. They don't have a lot of access to outside space. Uh, some of our families live in quite challenging circumstances in terms of finances and work etc. So we really wanted to give the children opportunities to kind of experience the amazing things that you can do in London and, and beyond. But also it feeds into their learning as well because it, you know, it gives them the vocabulary, it helps them develop the vocabulary to talk about those experiences. It, it, it gives them something concrete to hang their learning on. We offer a broad range of different mediums and techniques that students can explore. We're very lucky that we have a textiles department, um, we have photography, we have a darkroom. Music is, is very much seen by the pupils as part of what this school does. It's not weird that you have musicians playing an assembly, students playing an assembly. Everyone has a chance to find their own style of arts, whether they want to do something more graphics, whether they want to do something in painting or photography, or if it's music or drama or textiles. By the end of the year, most of the students by that time have found something that they feel confident with and I think that's probably what helped the department to grow, the school to grow within the arts. We like to give our children first-hand real-life experiences to give meaning to their learning. An artist came in and helped us enliven our outdoor space as well. Our gates and our fences on the way into school was part of a massive art project where he came in and worked with the children designing what would happen in our outside space. When I first started here, at that point the school was in special measures. Achievement was really low, the children just had no kind of energy really, there was nothing to excite them. And Artsmark was part of that process really, to kind of reinvigorate the school and, and to get the children you know, to where we want them to be in terms of academics, but also in terms of giving them confidence to be able to express themselves. Some people, when they do it halfway, they feel like it's really bad, but once they finish it, it's really good. I just feel comfortable because I know that I like drama and it feels comfortable for me. I like opening up and uh, making friends. I think it's a really useful tool for staff and schools because it allows you to really audit your provision and think about what you are offering your children to ensure that it is that broad and balanced curriculum that we're always looking for. Because the, the staff and the teachers value arts in the school and therefore the children see that too and they, it becomes part of their everyday, part of their regular um, learning. They don't see it as something weird or unusual that we might be doing art in literacy or music in maths, they just accept it so, so that art is part of their everyday life. For us in terms of the range of offer, I think it's important for students to feel that they have a voice and I think it's important for students to feel that they can have ownership over their, their, their projects. I think if you're always constantly dictating to the students um, what to do, you're gonna lose them. In terms of expanding your provision, trying things out is a very good way of, of finding out if students are interested in it, if teachers are able to develop their pedagogy to deliver it. We'll try a textiles club, we'll see how it goes. Students were performing well, students were interested in it. Teachers became interested in it and that built into a qualification. I don't think you should be afraid to experiment and with extracurricular opportunities there's plenty of scope for doing that. I would definitely encourage schools to apply for Artsmark. I think it flags the art subjects and puts them kind of front and centre. The Artsmark offered us a way of developing our network, developing our resources, supporting us in delivering various different activities that we were offering. I think Artsmark when you look at it, you think, yeah, that's what I'm trying to achieve. It's just that someone's written it down somewhere. The art subjects, I think, have massive value across the whole curriculum. And that's why it's so important to still give them the time and space within the curriculum.
It's not something that you should be doing by yourself. If you do it as a staff team, it can be incredibly valuable to see what your provision is and how you can improve it. And to remember that there are amazing support mechanisms within applying for Artsmark who are available on the phone, in person, uh, via email that you can talk to and they can really support you in the journey to filling out your form all the way through to achieving Artsmark.